Well, that was a nice little run over from uh, Middleton Teesdale. All right. Well, no. The road's definitely getting worse. Yeah, as is uh, all of the roads, I think. Yeah. Right, guys. So after our trip back from Ullapool just a few days ago, we have spent the weekend at home, uh, which wasn't too bad because we got to watch the Austrian GP quite quite nice so the weather front that was coming up with the rain that we cowardly avoided by hiding at home for the weekend that's passed there's still some rain forecast but not not heavy stuff so we're heading over to the lake district now um, with the intentions of doing the hard not pass probably tomorrow and then incorporate a nice ride around the lakes whichever way we go have a couple of days over there, correct? Correct. Correct. Right, off to the Lake District. That way. Right here. So we're officially in the in the Lake District now. Yeah. We're on the lookout for Turner Hall campsite. So we're going to stay there for two nights. Uh, do the right here. Yay! It said, do not follow Satnav, Sean. Oh, follow my Satnav. <laughs> well, how fab's that? Just the roads. This is even smaller. Have you got your garment set as short as possible, route? I don't know. <laughs> Can't be far now then, Sean? Uh, about five minutes, six minutes.
any luck, it'll be that far down the right. Okay. Ready for some food. Well, if we get the tents up, here, 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 what's this? Turn a whole camp, say, fuck off, we made it. We made it! Large vehicles to turn the whole campsite. Well, Should we, we just keep going that way? Yeah. Because we're just very small vehicles. Stay there. I've just seen a thing saying inquiries. Oh, have you? Right, so here we are. Turn a turn a whole campsite and allegedly we go straight through those gates there and there's three fields that we basically just pick our spot. Somewhere flat, eh, Sean? Mm. Best you can. Mm. Not that that's a problem, I'm just thinking of walking back. Yeah. <laughs> Picnic bench just there. All right. Keep going. We'll have a look. But well, if, if we could utilise that one, that would be all right. That's it. So you head back to where that picnic site was, that picnic bench. Go on then.
Oh, there's some port loos there, look at. Huh. Yeah, we'll, we'll try there. Yeah? If that's it, yeah, because there's some toilets just there, so that's all right. That's how it's flat. What about there? Yeah, I can do. So much for no midges. Are they not just flies? Or we can go somewhere else. Well, you've got that side. There's another bench over there. Is there? You can have the side with the ants. Right. Tent up.
so there we are. Basically, that's essentially the, the tent's done. All pegged out. All we've got to do is just blow the pillow up. Mattress and the sleeping bag is already inside. Uh, but that's effectively your bed for the night. Nice and quick, nice and easy. So what I've found, just a little tip. Obviously the tent's designed for the your helmet to go up there. There's a little, little hook under there. So you can put your helmet under there and then your boots at one side. Helmet's fine because it tucks right up. I found with the boots, even though mine are quite tall, they only sit to about here. And if it's windy, sometimes the boots will fall down. So all I've done, all I do, I've just got a couple of short, short bungees. And I put the bungees on the hook inside, so they're hanging down. And then my boots, when I just when I take my boots off, I don't know whether you'll see this with the camera, I close them up and I just put that under there and then hook that into there and it just keeps the boots it keeps the boots up and stops them from falling down if it's if it's windy if it's not windy it's fine obviously um it's just something that i do i find it i find it useful it just sort of secures the secures the boots cup of coffee time let's get the kettle on Well, it's cooled down a little bit anyway. Yeah. A couple of degrees. Uh, this one, this one. Here we go. Turn a hole. Well, I can't stop here. There we go. Home street home. So, the great British weather gets us again. Half past six. It's only half past six and we're being caught by rain again. The clouds come in. And 
everything was getting wet. So, yeah. Life in the wing, man. How do you put your light on? Right, sorry guys, I can't. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know how to put my light on while I'm recording. So that gives you an idea. There's my helmet. Tucked up really high underneath the outside sort of flap. Um, so that's great. There's uh, no chance of rain getting in there. Just give it a shake out in the morning in case you get bugs. But that's your, that's your helmet tucked right under there. And if I spin round, spin round here. Got focus, focus in there. Yeah, so there's my boots. So you can see there how I've uh, I put the, the bungee straps just through me, me boot buckle. And then it just it just holds it up, stops it falling over. So you don't get wet feet in the morning. Are you ready for the hard nut bears? Nah. <laughs>